Let's visit the candy makers while they create a long-time CanCraft favorite, the Candy Climber. A candy climber consists of a unique handcrafted character climbing up a candy cane. Today the candy makers are creating a Santa Claus candy climber on peppermint flavored canes. First, the raw ingredients are added to a large cooker. Sugar and corn syrup are combined to create a 110 pound batch of liquid candy base. Watch as the team pours it out onto a large refrigerated table. Since the batch is very hot at this point, it is somewhat runny and messy. As it cools, it will become harder and harder. At this point, the team immediately separates the batch into smaller portions that will become the stripes of the candy cane. Now, we'll add the flavoring and colors. A different color for each stripe, red, green, and white. At first, the colors practically disappear into the candy mix, but with skillful kneading, they reappear like magic. Continuous folding and kneading of the batch ensures even cooling as the candy hardens. This is done over special refrigerated tables designed to help cool the candy at a precise rate. By continually folding the cooler parts over the hot parts, the batter cools evenly. As this group works on mixing the colors, the rest of the team of candy makers is busy building the center of the candy cane. It has a different texture than the stripes and makes up the largest part of the candy cane. Since the center often weighs over 80 pounds, it takes at least two people just to lift and guide it into the puller. Stretching it creates millions of tiny air bubbles within the candy, which will eventually add a distinctive texture to the inside of the cane. Once stretched, the core is further folded and kneaded using heavy metal bars. Eventually, the center will be shaped into a large block. Now, it looks like the other group has finished mixing the colors. At this point, a candy maker separates and cuts each piece into individual shapes. Using a template, he then positions each stripe, as it will appear on the finished candy cane. This piece is called the cover. The time has come to combine the center with the brightly colored cover. This process is much like wrapping a gift. The resulting 110 pound block is then placed into a machine called a batch roller. The batch roller twists and squeezes the block until it flows out the end as a one inch thick rope. A series of rollers further squeeze it down to the thickness of the finished candy cane. At this point, several things happen very quickly. A belt gives the cane a twist. It is then cut, polished, and wrapped in clear cellophane. The nearly finished canes are still warm and flexible. Before they harden, the candy makers bend them into their final shape. Many of these canes will be sold as they are, but some will soon be transformed into candy climbers. With a